nutritional deficiencies in plant under this topic today we are going to study about the zinc deficiency in plants the main points which we discuss in this e lecture are first the essential role of zinc in plants second main deficiency symptoms third how soil conditions affect the zinc availability to plants and last fourth one is the management strategy that is how we can control the zinc deficiency in plants let us start with the essential role of zinc zinc is essential for plant growth and development but it is required in very small quantities and the requirement of zinc vary among the crops the zinc leaf concentration in the range 20 to 100 mg per kg are adequate for most crops as zinc is one of the essential micronutrients and important constituent of several enzymes and protein it is only needed by plants in small quantities however it is crucial for plant development as it plays a significant part in wide range of process zinc occur in plants as free iron as a complex with variety of low molecular weight compounds or as a component of proteins and other macromolecule it is used in the formation of chlorophyll and some carbohydrates it is essential for the conversion of starch to sugar and its presence in plant tissues help the plant to withstand the cold temperatures zinc is also essential for the formation of auxin and this auxin is helpful in growth regulation and stem elongation zinc activates enzymes that are responsible for the synthesis of certain proteins in many enzymes zinc act as a functional structural or regulatory cofactor a large number of zinc deficiency disorders are associated with the disruption of normal enzymatic activity including that of the key photosynthetic enzymes zinc deficiency increase membrane leakiness as zinc containing enzymes are involved in the detoxification of membrane damaging oxygen radicals zinc also involved in the control of zinc express gene gene expression it appears important in stabilizing rna and dna structure and in maintaining the activity of dna synthesizing enzymes and in controlling the activity of rna degrading enzymes thus zinc is very essential for the growth of plants now the main symptoms of the deficiency of zinc in plants are as the zinc is immobile in plant thus the deficiency symptoms appear in the newer leaves first the deficiency of zinc cause various disease in different plants as little leaf of apple stone fruits and grapes sickle leaf of cacao and white tip of corn leaves are shed progressively from base to tip in zinc deficient plant bud development is poor in zinc deficient plant resulting in reduced flowering and branching the main deficiency symptoms in zinc deficient plants are first one is chlorosis chlorosis is the yellowing of leaves often intervenial chlorosis occur intervenial means the tissue between the veins turn yellow while the veins remain the green 
In some species, young leaves are the most affected, but in other plant species, both old and new leaves become chlorotic. The second main symptom is necrosis, necrotic spots. Necrotic spot means the death of leaf tissues on the area of chlorosis. Third one is bronzing of leaves. The chlorotic areas may turn bronze colored. The other main deficiency symptoms are rosetting of leaves. In zinc deficient dicotyledonous plant have often shortened internodes. As a result, the leaves are clustered on the stem. And this is known as the rosetting of leaves. Stunting of plant. Zinc deficient plant has a reduced growth. And this is because of reduced internode elongation. Other symptoms are dwarf leaves, also known as little leaf. The leaves are small, long and partially yellow in color. And these small leaves often shows chlorosis, necrotic spots or bronzing. This is one of the main deficiency symptom of zinc. Another symptom are malformed leaves. Leaves are often narrower or have a wavy margin. The picture shows the deficiency symptoms of zinc. The zinc deficiency in apple. As we see in this picture, the leaves are chlorotic and bronze colored spots develop on the leaves. Zinc deficiency in citrus plant. The leaves shows chlorosis. White bud of mage. In mage, zinc deficiency cause newer leaves to become nearly white. And this symptom is known as white bud. Thera disease of rice. In rice, the deficiency of zinc cause a disease known as named as Kara disease. In this disease, the symptoms appear in small patches in nursery or in the main field. Leaves become chlorotic at the base. Small bronze colored spot develop on the leaves which later spread on the entire leaves. And in severe deficiency of zinc, no ear formation occur on the diseased plant or if ear formation occur, no grains are formed. Soil condition. Soil condition, different type of soil condition affect the availability of zinc to plant. Zinc deficiency is common in many different types of soil. Some soils such as sandy soil have a low total zinc concentration. While calcareous soil, highly weathered soil and saline soils have low plant available zinc due to stronger zinc sorption. Soil pH above 7 causes the zinc to form compounds that are unavailable to plant and thus zinc deficiency occur in plant. Soils low in organic matter and compacted soils that restrict the root proliferation also have a high risk of zinc deficiency. Application of phosphorus fertilizer has frequently been associated with zinc deficiency. This is due to the enhanced absorption by clay minerals, suppression of vesicular arboscular mycorrhiza and or, or immobilization of zinc in plant tissue and this may lead to the zinc deficiency in plants. Liming of soils 
also frequently induces zinc deficiency by increasing zinc sorption. Management strategy How we can control the zinc deficiency in plant? Zinc sulfate or zinc oxide can be applied to soil to correct the zinc deficiency. The recommended application of actual zinc range from 5 to 100 kg per hectare. But optimum levels of zinc vary with the plant type and the severity of the deficiency. Application of zinc may not correct zinc deficiency in alkaline soil because even with the addition of zinc, it may remain unavailable for plant absorption. Foliar application of zinc as zinc sulfate or zinc chelate are also widely used, especially with the fruit trees and grape vines. Zinc can also be applied as a seed treatment or by root dipping of transplant seedlings. In this way, we can control the zinc deficiency in plants. For further reading, I would like to suggest the following links and a book of plant pathology by George and Agrios. Thank you for watching.